Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana, and today we're back with another episode of the Goth Family. Finally, guys, I am back. I want to record the Goth Family again, and it has everything, everything to do with the fact that I got a new house. I didn't make this house myself, so that's probably one of the biggest reasons why I'm actually really into this. I always felt like Dawn was the kind of man to be hardworking, perhaps make his own cars another day another time don is working on his car i just want to show you guys what i've done with the neighborhood from their perspective so i would have started this uh, on you know um built um what you call that world mode world 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 view but this is basically what he sees from his um you know it's his view <laughs> so i know this this side is not super spectacular it doesn't really show up very well but if you take a look at the backyard doesn't this look so cute okay let me show you so when you're in the backyard it almost kind of looks like you have this area for grass and then you can just go underneath i don't think it's actually gonna let me go underneath oh it does oh my god look so yeah here we are underneath and here's a little bench area with some trees and um a light i think the light is somewhere above me i don't really know where so yeah uh, I don't know what you guys think, but I, I personally really like this touch. I'll show you guys, of course, at night as well because, you know, it's probably gonna look really nice. I know who I should make Dawn go on a date with. He does want to be best friends forever with Dagmar. I'm not really sure about that. Oh, Alexander is so excited to show Dawn his grades. Did he meet anyone at school? I'm really hoping for him to meet Lucy. He has met Krista Pong and jane but not lucy yet i really hope he's going to meet lucy sooner or later anyway alexander no you're not gonna do that uh, alexander is forever just i don't want to say it but he's really annoying he's really annoying because he always wants to he always wants to pay why don't you pay attention to this girl that's over here alexander be be a little social and he's really into her apparently as well oh he's really into her oh girl Sorry, maybe I'm going a little too fast now, but... Alexander that socializes? Oh, what? Are we sick? What is going on? <laughs> I don't think he's really a social type. And like I said, I really want him to get together with Lucy. But uh, just because you... <laughs> just because I want something doesn't mean it has to happen. Plus, there's nothing wrong with just getting a little bit of... Um, experience before heading into your you know maybe your lasting relationship you know what i mean girls girls and guys everyone ladies and gentle woman not really hitting it off i don't think he has any romantic wishes he doesn't seem to be really a romantic sim but um casual should we just no okay let's do a few hugs she seems really into us but let's just see how much we're into her i need to know you know i need to know how, what 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 what's going wait, actually i have two lightning bolts it says he wants to ask her on a date i'm not gonna do that i don't feel like going on a date right now but however i am gonna have his first kiss so that'll be really oh i Oh, I hope for him that he's not going to get rejected. I would feel really bad if he got rejected for his first kiss. Let's see. Oh, she's actually really cute. <laughs> Alexander could use a makeover though. Maybe this is just his face. Maybe she's going to. I know many of my sims, I just get straight into bed, but I don't think Alexander is a very social type. I don't know, you guys. I just don't think he's the type to commit first, like right away. So I'm just going to keep it at this for now. Just say like he's had some fun and, uh, and that's just that's enough. That's enough for now. And um, we can always, you know, come up with some other things to do eventually or... Um, we could always see how the relationship is going to evolve eventually. But I think for now, I think for now it's pretty fine. After this, I'm still going to make him play the play the violin. Because I know if I don't, I know what's going to happen. I know, 
I know is going to be with the baby. I'm not looking forward to this. The baby's actually woken up. I want her to spend some time with Dawn, actually. Dawn, get your little butt over here and, um, you know, give the girl, give the girl a nice bath. I'm really happy for this. I'm actually, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy for this, you guys. I am really happy. Mm -hmm. I think my next victim might be... Oh no, never mind. You haven't seen that. It's for my special project that I'm not yet working on, but I want to be working on soon. I just have to come up with a way and, and you know, prepare for it. But it's coming, you guys. It might take weeks and weeks and weeks. It's going to take so long for it to actually be done. But uh, eventually I'll start on it. So I have a secret project that may or may not work. And hopefully it's going to work. But we'll... we'll we just, we just we just don't know, do we? Alright, nice. Alright, so I promised I would show you guys what it looks like at night with all the lights. But I think it just looks super cozy. And you could just... Oh, I just... I don't know. I just really like it. Doesn't it just look very inviting and very cozy? Like, I know my decorating skills aren't the best. But I really try to make something of this neighborhood and make it look a little bit more more fun i also put where the houses are located a little differently so now um the goths live next to the burbs and the burbs live i guess behind the pleasants i just changed the neighborhood a lot maybe i'll show you guys that right before um you know anything else i'm gonna see it very often unless i'm in this neighborhood view which i won't probably do very often anymore so what i've done is i felt like these houses looked to me like they were a bit more mediterranean and i figured these would look cute along the beach and then this house that was already in this world kind of reminded me of it it was like a kind of the same style not really but kind of same with this one it they both kind of remi reminded me of the same style. So I plumped them all near the beach. I felt like it would make sense with the palm trees. I don't know. just felt like it. And then we have the Pleasant family. So this is more like the family area. Now, this is the rich family area. So the bigger house is like the Goth family, the Burb family, and the Pleasant family live here. And then we have the less expensive but more expensive than a basic house house. So here we have the Gold the Goody family. They live like... Um, just a bit secluded, I guess. I'm really not sure where I want to put them, but for now they live here. Might just put them here so it's all kind of like aligned. And I might want to put more of this greenery with the backyard here as well. I just haven't worked on that quite yet. Um, so I'll just have to see if I'm going to do that too. I just, I kind of feel like they all deserve a little green area. Maybe I'll just have to make it a little different to make, you know, just place it up. So this is the empty area you guys saw. Um, where the bushes are around the game doesn't pick up the middle part but that's what that looks like so these are the more cheaper houses the cheaper starters houses so if you get more money you can obviously move into here have a lot more money you can move into here now these are just also quite cheap just cheap beach houses if you want to do you know you want to, you want to go over there so these are the really cheap houses like ten thousand, seventy thousand, and then these are even cheaper these are like twelve thousand i um, haven't really worked on this area yet a lot now i figured if you come into town we have these are all in the game so i haven't really done anything with them eventually i would like to make over all the houses but i guess i'll just do that as i'm playing you know don't really care much for it about now and i do like beige colors a lot so don't even be surprised if all the houses end up looking the same <laughs> so here we have the clothing store and i think this was like the general store and then here this like the pool um here we have the diner so i didn't really change a super much like a lot a lot but it definitely looks a little nicer let me turn it into night view so you guys can see the lights i think it looks so nice when the lights are all lit up there it is doesn't it look nice with all the little lights it definitely looks more lived in i don't want to spend too much too much too much too much time on this and and part of me is afraid because if I ever take out my mods and I go back to this, there's so much that's going to be messed up. And I'm not ready for that. I messed up a lot of things, you know, doing it like that in the past. So, yeah, I'm just... I'm just not okay with that. Okay, <laughs> I'm just not okay with that. Either way. Yeah, I just think it looks... Um, it just looks a lot nicer. I mean, if you ask me, it looks a lot nicer. So we might have some kittens coming. I'm really excited. I, I always wanted some... I don't know. I just feel like Cassandra is a crazy cat lady. So she deserves her uh, her own... Her own her own batch of crazy cat lady. Amount of kittens and cats. And, oh, it's so cute. 
I did say I want Dawn to have another date, but it's really hard because Cassandra usually works, right? And now that she doesn't work, he doesn't really want to leave. He doesn't want to miss the birth of the baby, which is like one of the reasons why he doesn't really want to leave the house. But he can't have anyone come over because she's still home. So I think we're waiting for the another kid to be born. I mean, he did go over to Dina and Nina's house the other day. And she didn't really know either. And he had a great time, but he doesn't feel... I don't know, he does- I feel so weird and so conflicted about this man. Part of me is saying he doesn't care about anything. He doesn't care about how other people feel. But at the same time, I- He has a strange love and affection for Cassandra and a strange sense of duty now that she's pregnant. I really don't know what's up with this man, you guys, but I'm loving the Dawn character. I feel like, like I said, he's just in it for the kids right now. I'm not in it, but he's staying for the children. I don't want to make it sound like he's such a bad person. I think he's right now staying in it for the children. And I, I, I don't know, you guys. I think he tried, he is trying, and he's trying so hard to be the perfect dad and be a family man, but it's not gonna happen. Cassandra is not the perfect wife for him. Cassandra is just not someone who can... I just, I just don't feel like Cassandra is someone that can be okay with what he wants and i think dina is so i would really would love for dina to go with dawn i want him to have a chance i want dawn to actually move out again and get his own place or maybe he can come crash no i don't think dina would approve that no 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 but i actually would love to see dawn lothario as like a single dad i would love for him i know it sounds a bit strange but i would love it if maybe if she had another kid for for him to be able to take the kids some time and then, you know, have, have them share the kids. Like, I just don't think they're they're meant to be f together forever, at least, you know. I, I just don't really think. Okay, so I'm also going to teach her how to talk. I'll just do a mix of both. I just want them to have a good relationship, and they really do, honestly. But um, obviously she has a better relationship. I just want them to have... Okay, she's like, nah, I'm done. I am done. Let me serve some breakfast. He's actually he's still been really helpful learning all these skills. I just think it's really fun to see Don be a family man when I know deep down inside he just wants to bang the whole town. <laughs> Got some breakfast for for him and the wife. He's really pregnant right now. It's not going to take any, any much, much, much longer for the new baby to be born. So I actually think I'm kind of done waiting. Um, but um, I could technically, you know go over here and accelerate the pregnancy because I could totally do that. Let me see how far along we are. Bob? Oh, Bob! <laughs> Bob one kitten. Oh, 60 hours. I think we're gonna have a lot long, long, a lot more time to go. I just, you know, guys, I just, I just don't want to wait anymore. I want to see the baby. I want to see the baby now. So are you guys ready? Place your bets now. What is Cassandra going to have or be having? A girl, a boy, let me know. Baby time. How surprising. Oh, he looks, so, oh, it was like, he looks so excited. It's going to be one baby because that's what it said. So let's have a look. Oh, it's such a cute baby. Um, Cassandra or Dawn? Um, uh, I think we'll have Cassandra stay home. It's another girl. Oh my. Oh my. Um, not surprised whatsoever. Um, so we have, what's his name or her name? Lola and I don't know, but the name Ginger just popped. Actually, I think Ginger would be a name that Dina would call her kid. <laughs> Is that weird? Okay, let me find another name. Maybe Jess, Jesse and Lola. Jesse? I think I, I or, or Jesse like this or Jesse like this. Yeah, I'll do this. Yeah, I'll do this. I think that's fine. Jesse, Jesse, yeah, Jesse's fine. We don't really need the most intricate names, do we really? We just need a name that says, hey, I'm a baby, I have a name, right? Oh, they're so cute. Oh, my. so much baby, baby love happening. 
Oh, that's cute. Let me take a picture. We need we need that good thumbnail in our life. Oh, the baby's clapping. It's like, yay, I'm finally out of mom's potato. <laughs> With Dawn, I think Cassandra is really happy right now. She has the life that she wanted. She wants to be a mother. She has children. And I think she'll be very content with the children. I think she may, if she never ended up, I mean, she is already becoming an elder in 12 days. I honestly think Cassandra has the dream, like the life that she wants now. She has two beautiful daughters. So I'm sure we're gonna give her some grandchildren. Um, I mean, it doesn't, it's not a must for girls to have babies, but I, it's the Sims, and I, I don't want to have offspring, you know. I like kids, so they're always, almost always going to have some children. <laughs> Alright, so let's cuddle with baby Jessie. She just... I kind of want to dress her, but I don't think... Did I? Oh, I might actually. You know, guys, I might... Oh, I did. when you're in a marriage like this, and you want to have children, and you're being... And you're already older. Like, technically, in Sims time, she's quite old. She's almost an elder. That's how it works for women anyway. They're most fertile then, and their chance of becoming pregnant is a lot higher. and It's a lot safer. I'm not sure why I'm ranting on about this, but okay. So, if I were to think about it like that, then, you know, she would be... Like what? If I put every 10 days, it's 10 years, then she is like what? Mm, like 50 now? She doesn't look 50 though. <laughs> she doesn't look one day over 50, but I'm just saying, okay, I'm just making this too complicated. I just think Cassandra felt old. She just didn't feel like waiting and marrying and dating around. She's just very happy with her children. She doesn't want a man. She doesn't, I mean, she does want Darren. Oh, I forgot about Darren. Oh my god. You guys, I suddenly had, I just suddenly forgot Darren existed. So I was like on this whole road of feminine empowerment, and then she likes this and she doesn't need a man and i forgot darren exists either way you guys we definitely we have our children so i um i don't really know what to say a lot oh he's having a sponge bath oh that's nice do whatever you want don i'm not judging you i definitely think like i said they just really want the children and i think unfortunately i think like they're just not meant for each other so they're not going to stay together for much longer they're not going to be they're not gonna wait around much longer, unfortunately. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think in the next part, we'll probably start seeing the first signs of that. And then we're gonna just spend time with Dawn as a Lothario, you know, family on its own. And I think we're just gonna continue on with the goth family as well on its own. And we're just gonna just, just see a lot of things, you know, a lot of different sides of everyone. But I would love for Cassandra and Darren to get together. I'm just gonna have to figure out how they're gonna come together. And I'm also just going to have to figure out how, oh my God, there's no windows here, right? I was just like, very afraid. Imagine looking through the window and there you just see your step, your stepdad just butt naked, <laughs> scrubbing themselves down. Yeah, yeah. Even Dawn has to puke. Just thinking about that. I um, I have to... You guys, let me know if you know any way that we can bring Cassandra and Darren together. Or, you know, how... I don't think Cassandra is going to confess to Darren. I don't think she really feels like she wants to confess. I just don't really feel like she's in that kind of... I don't think she's the kind of sim that would confess herself. I don't know, I just don't get the vibe. Um, but Darren is quite shy as well. So that's not a good combination for romance. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys have any clues or any ideas, like please do let me know because I could definitely use your help on this one. But anyway, I'm gonna thank you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.